Hi, I'm Tim Bozinski. We're here at Artisan Wine Shop and we're tasting our ciders for Cider Week. And uh, we have a selection here of six different ciders, four of which are what we would call sort of regional ciders. And we're actually starting with one from the um, Northern Berkshires and it's uh, West County Cidery. And one of the things that West County Cidery does that's sort of a little bit more interesting and unique is that they actually bottle single apple varieties. Oftentimes cider makers are blending in many different kinds of apples, um, trying to create that sort of balance between you know, bitter, sweet, tannin, acid, freshness. But West County does a lot of um, single varietal uh, ciders, and this one's made with Redfield, and as you can see, kind of like color-wise as well, the skin, not, not only the skin is red, but also the, the actual apple flesh itself is red, so that's where you get that sort of beautiful color. So it's actually not only appealing to sort of look at, but it's a very complex, very dry style cider. So continuing on with our sort of regional cider, we have here uh, Farnham Hill Cider, and this is their semi-dry. This is from uh, New Hampshire, and again, this is a blend of, of different apples. And this is... Interestingly enough, um, it says semi-dry, and oftentimes when we hear the word semi-dry, we think that there's going to be sweetness involved, whereas with this wine, it's, I mean, with this cider, it's really pretty dry. I mean, it, it's just not bone dry, so you're getting a lot of dryness here, and it's a really good example of, of balancing things out, because sort of a semi-dry style is probably one of the most balanced, at least in the ciders that we've uh, been tasting of recent time. So now... Here. We're moving to Slyboro Cidery, and this is up in um, Granville, New York, so about three hours north of, the, of where we are here in Hudson Valley in Beacon. Um, and this is what they call Hidden Star, and they kind of named it after the, you know, the slice of the apple itself. And this is also considered a semi dry style, but again, this one will have a bit more softness, a bit more residual sugar to it, so you get a really soft, easy drinking type of cider. Perfect for beginning a meal or having it, you know, throughout the course of a meal or even at the end, per se, as well. But um, really just extremely well-made, dry-style ciders. And one of the great things about it is, again, we're doing a bunch of different types of apple varieties. Here they're using a blend of Northern Spy and Liberty apples. So it's, it's kind of like something we, somewhat familiar to us, whereas many of these ciders are, are made with apple varieties that we've never heard of. Um, at least not for, you know, eating out of hand, so forth. Kingston Black, and there's, there's many other ones. So, the next one that we're moving to is actually an English cider. And this is made by a gentleman by the name of Mike Henny. This is his Henny cider. This is from here for sure. And again, this is a huge blend of apples, none of which I'd even heard of. So, they're English varieties that we don't seem to have a lot of here. Um, in the States, but this is again a dry style. And this actually, this cider comes off a little bit more tannic on the finish, which is it almost sort of shows you that sort of the tannin side of apples. Um, that apples have you know a fair amount of tannin in them, in the skins in particular. And when you're actually you know sipping this cider, you can kind of feel the tannins. So if you were actually having this with food, this is a great way to go. Cheese would be a really splendid option for a cider like this because it's going to be dry. When you have a little bit of cheese, a little bit of fat on your palate, it sort of creates more fruit, you know, in the cider itself, and sort of creates a whole new experience when you're sort of eating and drinking together. And then we come to our most local cider. This is Doc's Draft. This is over in Warwick. So this is made by Warwick Valley Winery. Um, this is their uh, pear cider. So in order in New York State, in order to call it cider, you have to have it be made with apples. So here they're adding pear to this, to their, to their apple juice, um, to their cider, and creating this sort of like very, very pear. So you get a lot of like this sort of aromatics of pear. You get this flavor, and there's a little bit more um, sort of sweetness from the pear because you know the difference between sort of eating a very ripe pear and a, and a you know sort of a tart apple are, are very distinctive. So you just get this more sort of rounded flavor, and again. We're sort of keeping these ciders just sort of on ice, but not too much because we don't want to serve them too cold. And in particular, this is a, this is a cider that does extremely well, just sort of right, you know, with very minimal chill to it. It's just super easy drinking in style and, and really ready to go pretty much on any occasion. 
Warwick also makes two other ciders, their regular hard cider, the apple cider, and then one that's a raspberry infused as well. So they do a number of different ciders. Um, and then we finally come to our last cider. This is actually a French cider. So we have one uh, sort of French and one English cider here. And this is an organically grown cider um, from the Normandy region, one of the sort of homes of um, great cider making. And this is made, again, with a little bit more richness to it, a little bit more residual sugar. But there's also quite a bit of complexity here as well. So with some of that residual sugar, that richness, you get these sort of levels or layers of flavor to it. And um, it kind of creates a good kind of experience for, you know, a main course in a meal or maybe even towards the end of a meal. Um, again, cheese would be another excellent option with a, with a cider like this. So those are some of the ciders that we have um, today that we're tasting, but we're sort of featuring ciders all week. Um, discounting ciders all week, trying to get people to sort of think about cider as part of um, every day or every week consumption at least, and sort of building it into part of their um, their normal pattern or normal habits. So we hope everybody's going to come out and uh, try some ciders this week. Thanks very much.